this poem has an epigraph at the beginning from the philosopher Wittgenstein, which says, if a lion could speak, we couldn't understand him. The poem's called A Philosophical Investigation. A philosophical investigation where the lion says a bunch of weird, perplexing things about the world. That he's a lion doesn't really matter, but he hopes some of you will know his heart from what comes next. Furthermore, that he's a king isn't necessary, which is different than saying it doesn't matter. What's necessary is logically necessary, or it's logically unnecessary, that is all. So he roars a bunch of enigmatic, technical things about the world, and about its being a bunch of facts, not things, or about its being mostly of words in some aristocratic ostrich's throat or not. The possibility of the negation of the facts is embedded in the totality of facts as they present themselves, but neither the totality nor the possibility are part of what he says. Though what he says shows them off Broadway with wings and trigger pumped with shocking blood. He implies this when he sings. His singing is anomalous and sounds like polished oyster shells and parchment. It's as if it's already all been written, potentially anyway, before it ever even hits the oompa pa of the marching band parade. And the lion's head detaches itself from the mothership or the Garden of Eden. It wants to declare and conclude things, clear, true things, about goodness and beauty and paradise found or paradise lost, but it can't say such things logically or sensibly, with feeling or with verve scientifically. The lion knows. One can't say feeling. One can only express it rarely, my dear, or falsely. And just now, a moth settles onto a window screen, and just now a burn settles into a scar. Someone has leaned a ladder up against the house we don't share together anymore. Yes, I am here. I am not very far. I climb to the canopy of trees, and when I reach through the green, a hippopotamus is in the room, or a hippopotamus is not in the room. As always, this is true, and all the light that ever warmed me is fading, rather mystically it occurs to me, fading into mountain sea and glitter gloss and lionry and silence. <laughs>